Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and today we've got a wood splitter to do. Um, what we've got here is a uh, Husky log splitter, 12.5 horsepower, 35 ton. Uh, we're uh, what he's having is a problem with it. Uh, won't start already. I can see one problem before I even tear it open. So we'll pull you off the tripod and we'll show you what's going on. As you can see, that gas filter, the gas in it is not as clear as it should be. And um, we're going to have to empty the gas out of this and flush it and start again. So we'll get set up here and get ready to take the uh, housing off and we're going to go and see what we got going on. Just as I suspected, I already knew this was the problem. Look at that coil. Look at that flywheel. This is a prime example of why you don't leave your equipment uncovered outside in the weather for any period of time. So this has got to be taken off, it's got to be wire wheeled and cleaned up and this year we can clean it up right where it sets. We don't have to take it off and uh, clean all that rust off of it. What is happening is it's getting no fire because it's so rusty that uh, can't get through the rust. So we're going to take the coil off. We're also going to take the plug out and clean it. And uh, take that coil into the wire wheel and wire wheel it. And we're not going to be able to get up inside here with the wire wheel because we don't want to hit it with the rubber with the wire wheel or any of this plastic that then you start to form the plastic. But we can get it cleaned up where it looks pretty good and also um, gets a good ground. Because right here at this bolt is where you get your ground for your coil to get fired. So we'll get started on that. Now that we've got this coil on place, this here is 164. It's a uh, off of one of them uh, office envelopes. We take this out, this in, the magnet will hold it together. here don't matter. Right here is where you get your contact. Like it down. Then to take this out, just turn your 
job. took so many times to crank it because they had to pump up the fuel. Let's see how it works. 